Yeah. Yeah. That that, that was. It sure was. It was. It Leo was just and so Beat smart. stepping up to the plate here. Pikachu and Joker. I think of our final set for this first half of, loot of top eight. Pikachu versus Joker. Honestly, I've been loving the play from both of these players, and I'm really sad to see one of them go. But it's about that time in the Arcadian. I appreciate we started this block by talking about matchup diversity, and this is the second time we've seen Pikachu Joker on our screen here Golly. tonight. But that's what know, I get, honestly. You, yeah, you listen. Sometimes you just gotta schmix them, and they schmixed us, showing us some fantastic playstyle diversity. Though, even though we've seen a lot of Pikachu here tonight between both Pikachu players so far here present in top eight. Beautiful use, though, of these t jolts by Leo. We see him learning from earlier and is just playing this one a lot more patient, a lot more slowly, but... Eee, what a frame trap there from Vitz. Down throw, going for the upper instead of opting for the back air towards the end. Very good stuff to him, this Arsene Joker, looking pretty good right now. Going to keep this pressure up here on this Pikachu. Now forward air, drag down, down two, looking to find the down air. And that's a lot easier to get on that Arsene up special, but he immediately makes it back once the Arsene goes away. Leo reading a roll though, but to no effect. And Vitz just making such good use of this gunplay. Leo's had a lot of, an, you know, had an answer for a lot of just the standard stuff you'd see from most Jokers. But where Vitz has long made his name here in Tri-State is with how good he is at hitting you with those bullets. But, you know, Pikachu's still able to swing that Iron Tail to close out the stock Momo and just like that. Just like that. Yeah, exactly. Just like that. Oh, and uh, down gun coming out from Vitz. Oh, just barely avoiding that T-Jolt. Uh, nice parry there, the quick attack coming out. V still gonna keep his pressure up here. Those nares, those Joker nares though, catching that. Those, uh, Aaron jump in time and time again. Leo just trying to find that drag down and gets this damage up for himself. But V's doing such a good job of owning all this airspace and ground space on this stage time and time again. Yep, that beautiful quick attack angle from Leo allowing him to get one more opportunity. Expected the missed tech there, but Vitz is gonna hit it with the DI up to boot so he doesn't get sent out far enough to get caught by the Thunder. Now with Arsene and Gun, right, you're able to slow this pace of the game down, play more defensively. And that's what Vitz is really trying to do. He's let Leo hold forward in the way that he's really been prone to do and just opting to catch these approaches rather than try and find his way to win these T jolts. And I mean. Schneid. Very good stuff to Vitz. I mean. Oh, the Futsal into down, the down gun looking very good right now. This Joker doing some very good movement coming back on there. Pikachu forward air coming out, but that F-Smash is going to, it's still not going to take the stock. Oh! The there to that top corner Ew. by a higher blast zone on the top of town and city. Going to let you survive that as well as air dodging out of the blast zone, which when you're sent specifically to the corner lets you survive longer. If you're sent to the horizontal, it does kill you sooner because of hurt box shifting. But now just beats again, right? Trying to lock this down, catch these approaches to great effect. And so far, Leo hasn't really adjusted around this gunplay, around this Aegon play. That has really allowed Vitz to win these mutual interactions over and over again. Oh, nice back throw coming out there from Leo. The Arsene is online. This is your time to shine. Go for those ledge traps here. The high recovery, not gonna get punished. Very good mix up there from Vitz. So hang on to this Arsene, looking to close the stock out here soon. That's quick attack to get out of that center stage in neutral. Nice for that down gun, floating back gun there too, but the quick attack parry and still gonna hang on to the stock. Leo doing such a good job of awaiting this Arsene to go away. Absolutely, but you not only do you have to wait it to go away, you have to find an opening, find a way in. Thunder gonna allow you to do that, but not gonna close it out just yet at 90%, Momo. Oh, you're close to death, but with Arsene coming online, you need to close this one out soon before that meter fills up the other halfway. And so far, Leo just getting very antsy, right? You're seeing him try to call out all these options preemptively, but they're all just swings and misses. Oh yeah, nice landing with the Nair once again from Vitz. Looking to close out here soon. Down throw, still not going to close it out. Going for the up special. I'm liking the little mix up there. Oh, putting that pressure on with the Pikachu Nair. He's doing everything in his power to wait for this Aaron option. F tilt back, F tilt. We're going to do it again for Vitz. Oh, but now to catch that quick attack. Just fine. Leo just looking to catch a jump here. Looking to end the game here soon. Both these players just spaghettiing so hard. Someone take the stock, please. And that back here is going to do a very good stuff. I was going to say, Momo, your prayers were answered Thank the Lord. when it matters most. And Bless up. it's going to set the Joker looking cool on that victory screen, closing it out. Vitz almost let it slip through his fingers, right? That pivot F-tilt, great idea, but just didn't work out. We see a lot of these, right, 
either instant pivot up airs or slingshot up airs and back airs. Veet's just trying to mix up DI, try and make you think he's over commit overshooting, and then kind of use that momentum, use the, those advanced movement mechanics of ultimate to mix up. And, you know, there's a reason that if you looked at the entrance for this event, even though seating is random, you'd have been hard pressed not to put Veet's here at this point in bracket, even possibly moving on and up a game right now, trying to do just that as we head over onto Battlefield for game two. Here we go. Veet's now starting out some big damage, 26%. Leo taking this to Battlefield. I'm liking the Battlefield pick here. You definitely want to avoid this gunplay, but having some play of your own, right? Using those T-Jolts around that platform. Having to extend on those quick attack routes. Having to have somewhere to retreat to, have a home. You need to find somewhere to escape. This this mouse needs a habitat. You know what's crazy, though? What was crazy? Uh, Pikachu players think this is Pika's worst stage. Uh, because those center plats, yeah, they help with your landing mix-ups, but they disrupt some of your... They make it a lot harder to use quick attack aggressively, T-Jolt aggressively, right? Because it limits the angles that you can actually throw T-Jolt in, especially to confirm off of. And it limits your combo game, right? Like, narrow loops are much harder to get for as long because of the platform height and distance. And this stage also very good for Joker, right? Uh, as you said before, with those platform extensions. And right now, Vitz is taking full advantage, very comfortable here. And Leo trying to make anything happen, normal, but Ooh. so far, no dice. Very good stuff. The F tilt gonna come out. Vitz is still moving this Arsene here. I'm loving the aggressive play from Vitz here, like the movement around with these aerials. Dropping down with the forward air, though, but Z Leo still hanging on the jump. Oh, the reversal still making me back to the ledge. Ready to stop the Vitz. Up throw into Thunder. Absolutely no dice. Vitz, like, you know, I've been around. I know exactly where that comes was gonna go. Nice DI there, but still avoiding that dash attack. Leo doing everything in his power to close the stock sooner or later. And the fourth hit of up air dragging down, missing that fifth one, right, which launches you. Ooh, trying to find the V-grab. He loop. still Only found it? One up yeah, he found the combo off the Rebel's Guard into Crazy. the Sour Spot, tried to find a stock as well, but just Pikachu a little bit too flexible and disadvantaged to find a way back. Joker's got those, right? There's a reason that people consider this character top three. Honestly, when Vitz is playing this character, this character looks top one. Vitz is absolutely playing amazingly right now. That forward silver with Arsene. Looking very good. Catching the quick attack again with the gun and catching the jump there. Leo, we're seeing that lack of patience from his set earlier with Lime Cookie, right? We're seeing him. He's getting impatient. And you cannot get impatient with Joker with Arsene. You have to take it. Just breathe in. Relax. It's okay. You'll be fine. But there we go. Finds that F-Smash. Right. Leo is still definitely keeping himself yeah. in this game. Right. Fine F-Smash indeed right there, Momo. Trying to find a way back into this game. That's certainly a start. This is Pikachu, right? Remember the famous clip on the red Joker, just like we're seeing here. Back air, back air, up air, up air, fast fall, thunder. Closing the stock out. Isim winning glitch. But... That is the type of stock Leo is going to need here to take it over Vitz. And a ways to go. Up air bridge could have been it, but missing the drag down. And instead, it's gonna you're going to give Vitz one more window in. You're going to give him Arsene. And you just can't let him hit you on this. If you get to 65, if you get to 70, I think this game's over. Oh, looking for the T-Jolt there. Nice backer. Oh, no way. To force no way. false out of the backer to force an air dodge there. Very good stuff from Leo. Still definitely, like I said, keeping himself in this game. And this could be considered even right now, honestly. I, I absolutely agree with you. I, th you know, because if it wasn't for Arsene, I think the fact of that, the presence of that Arsene meter means that a percent lead with Joker, right, means a lot more because we already saw one miracle stock from Leo, but now at 108 with our cent halfway charged and only 9% to beat his name. But you have to essentially do it again. And looking for a fair, you don't really have those options off of, off of it. The back air, you certainly do. And up air, or nair, is a great start. Getting these lightning loops into the T-Jolt V-Sal and platform so incredibly oh smart. Oh my gosh! The extension, uh, what was that? What move was that? That was a back air coming out Are from Arsene, sure? yeah. That was definitely an Arsene back air that comes out here. Okay, wait, let's, 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 let's chill out, let's yep. chill out. Yeah, let's see. Okay, wait, what? Ready? So okay. it's... Wait, slow it's, down, slow down. We're just gonna go frame by frame here so we don't mess it. Oh, wait, hold What on. happened? Ah! What? Um, okay, so what happens here... What move here? was this? So what happens here... So it looks like he's getting hit by back air. Hello? He's getting hit by Pikachu Hello? back air. Here, let's. Hello? Let's, he's getting hit by Pikachu back air. Uh huh. And Arsene comes out. Okay. Out. And then he cheats. Which, which shifts his hurt box, allow, and he misses, and allows the back air to come out. Because he popped out on the. 
it, that's that's utterly just absurd. Oh, or no. unique little Golly. interaction of right smash ultimate hitboxes, hurtbox shifting, etc. And Leo had such a strong start, so much momentum, but in the end, Momo, it doesn't even matter. But at least you found a combination that works trying to do it again here now in game three. Oh yeah, definitely. Now Vitz still using that momentum, right? I didn't get every game out absolutely magnificently. Oh, there we go. Nice quick attack from Leo. Still trying to keep himself in this game. Newfound, except honestly, newfound confidence after that. Oh, no tech situation. But Arsene coming to save him again. Yo, if I'm Leo, but, I'm, I'm making a, a hate tweet about Arsene after this. Yeah, this no, game. honestly, like, regardless of the result, oh, if, this is crazy. like, if I'm Leo, I'm like, nah, Vitz, Vitz, you didn't get a win on me. Arsene got a win oh, on you. My. The way he's coming in clutch at every given moment, just like that one. Honestly, I think Veach should enter Dove with Arsene, because like, this is ridiculous. Yeah, and uh, but you can't enter Arsene with that DI, the F smash. Going to close it out a little bit early. Now just finding the fair instead of opting for the drag down there, you also would have had that option. Maybe found a little bit more, but instead Veach opting to prioritize the stage control here and working out early until he gets reversal into another combo, this time not missing the Nair drag down. Very good stuff, but that Rebels Guard going to come out. Leo looking to accentuate the lead even more. Arsene on the cusp of coming out once again. Beats using that gun movement, using that aerial movement once again. Arsene is out, but we're going to put the stock. Oh, the Thunder is still not going to do it just he yet. He sent the wrong way. He was trying to get it to send off to the blast zone there because of where it's way it sends, right? Depends on which way you get hit. Yeah, of course, and but you know, Beats coming back in there with an Arsene, keeping the pressure up here. Nice use of those guns. Leo looking to come out, keeping the coming back with the forward air. Nice. Oh, coming off the wall there too. Nice wall jump. Not yeah. that F-Cult still not going to do it just yet. And, and avoiding that thunder. Yeah, and great little route there from Leo as well. Like, to find his way out of the situation. Back to stage. Good opportunity from Beats trying to combo that down gun landing into the down smash. Unfortunately, though, like, misses the all integral hit of that combo. Not able to find it. And now both players having forced a reset to neutral. Just scrapping here, Momo. Trying to find a break when it matters most. Oh, nice catch. that jump there once again. Leo looking for something even more. Echo looking to come out. The Tijol still not closing out, but that getting a little too errant there with your Ahas there. And Leo, one of the first leads of the set. If he's looking to bring his back any way he can, 170% on this Pikachu, but no dice just yet. Now we'll find the drag down, but still hanging on. He found the Nair one, but mi as you said, right, missed the drag down on that up air and not able to confirm it into the down smash. So tried to still find a way out, got the extension for some damage, but not the stock. And this is so scary against Pikachu, right? Th this character thrives at keeping you in the corner at the edge guarding, but Arsene gonna be scary enough to allow Veets away out of the corner again, right? The MVP. Backup coming in every time Beats needs it in this set. Saying, hold on, I don't want to let you lose this game, but Leo Eee! trying to hold on and closing it out, getting on the board. Not wanting to go down without a fight in this one. There we go. Leo now firing right back with that two stock. And man, like, you know, just like we were saying, you know, keeping that your head on your shoulders. Uh, even if the Arsene comes out, you realize, like, you can do this, right? This Pikachu has the tools. You're able to catch those aggressive options. Leeds is playing obviously well, but if you're sitting in the lead for most of the set, you can definitely fall into those habits, and then you can have to take advantage. If you're leaving, you need to notice those things. And he did! And that's why he's still in this set. Very good stuff to And him. these F smashes from Leo have been so smart, right? He's using them in a mix of preemptive positions, right? Like we saw with the first one, on like calling out, beating the neutral getup, and the second one where he kind of reacted to that role and utilizing that disjoint and the super active hitbox there to his advantage to the nth degree. And it's allowing him to put a game on the board just like winner's side, right? Leo was down 2-0, won a game. The question is, can he bring us to a game five this time? Oh yeah, I definitely feel like with the momentum we had going off of that game, he could definitely do it, but Veet's looking to immediately turn back, going back onto PS2. Nice down throw into forward air coming out once again, looking for the tech chase even more. Up throw into up air again. Nice going out of the grappling hook. Veet's okay, I, I see you work right now. These Joker combos are looking pretty sexy. Yeah, showing you right after the, the combo display Leo put on with that Pikachu in the first two games, even in a loss, right? V's trying to oh, show tech. you that he has it too. And as you said, that tech, utterly fantastic back, way back to stage. Great edge guard from Leo and both these players turning it up, not wanting to let any more Ooh. victories from their opponent come through.
Martin. Aggressive quick attack getting called out time and time again. All these Pikachu's gotta relax, man, because that Arsene and back air absolutely going to close it out. Vitz looking to get his damage up again. Arsene is online. Vitz's best friend. 28%. Looking to get even more. Leo just looking for a Tijo, looking for something here. Oh, and finally they're sent about to go away, and Leo looking to find that big punish down tilt into no tech chase, unfortunately. Yeah, trying to just find the up air into an air dodge read thunder, but Veet's playing very disciplined, right? That's why we've seen him make so many deep runs at bracket here in Tri-State. However, finally, beautiful adjustment from Leo using that quick attack, right, to call out the Aegon. Not going to result in too much more, though. Now Momo just resetting back to neutral, trying to make anything happen. Oh, nice come back down the there. The dash tag is going to close it out. Very good stuff. Not really, really too prepared for that, but now Leo, you bring up the stock down. 16% on this Pikachu. Like I said, that Arsene still definitely a factor to be playing here. Nice movement with the gun once again. Leo finally finding this Pikachu combo of his own. Yep. Down throwing up airs. Mm -hmm. He dropped that first up air string, right? The timing on, especially out of that throw, right, where he got it started. The timing on that third up air to really get that bridge repetition going. So difficult. However, hey! Leo is able oh, to tech! keep it going, but the D in uh, putting Veets in position, as you said, to get wow. the tech, allows him to reverse it, find the up air, and just like that, it doesn't matter how good Leo's decision making has been, it's been impeccable. Veets is still just finding ways, utilizing this Arsene, and it's just not fair. Beats looking amazing right now. Huge tech and running the momentum all the way off of that. Leo looking at his possible tournament stock. Has to pick it up here. Off smash is still not going to do it. Looking to catch the jump back there with the thunder. Oh, now Vs keeping this pressure up even more. Avoiding those T-jolts using that Aha. Avoid this Pikachu once again. That back air is putting that pressure on, keeping this rat out any way he can. And we're seeing Vs finally start to mix up his playstyle here in this last stock. Uh, Leo had just started to finally start to call him out on certain things, like call out his landing timings, call out certain moves that Vitz has been kind of leaning towards doing in the same situations. But Vitz now, we see, right, starting to just stop doing those things, move away from it, change his playstyle, and call out Leo for those attempted call-outs. Now, at 115 at ledge, what could have been so close is instead going to be Vitz's game three, Holy. and Momo, oh no. Congratulations to Arsene to winning the set. Obviously, Vitz was there too. Um, but wow, that was I, <laughs> golly, man. Yo, which one is which one is the stand and which one is the the actual person? I, I have no idea, honestly. Like, like, which one's the main character? That was insane. I'm love the the, the the just the movement from Vitz. You know, the, the mm -hmm. I feel like literally whenever Arsene came Bro, out, like Vitz's third eye opened up. Like got insane like, reads. Got like, that tech here. Like I'm like, and, oh, you're gone. You're gone. I just want to point this out, right? Okay. The eye line. Oh, not, not, sorry, it's there. It's like, look at this, right? Oh. He's DI'ing. I, I literally can't draw. Thank you. It's right here. Uh huh. So this DI line, bringing him down and in, allows him, right? Thank you. Um, allows him to bring it in, right? Find the tech where he otherwise wouldn't have been able to, because not only does that move send you straight down, but it's a. The wall, the PS2 wall is angled in, and there's a section of it that's un that you just can't tech. It doesn't actually count as a wall. So you have to DI into that very specifically to adjust your knockback and hold the LSI to influence your launch speed. So very, very technical adjustment there from Beats with very limited time. And just, I mean, that might have been the most impressive thing I've seen so far tonight. Yeah, definitely very good stuff. And now we go into top four territory. We're pulling up winners' finals with two amazing New York home casters. We've got Amat Neva, the man, the myth, the legend, and Ubel, Collision's Ubel's own Ubel, stepping up to the plate once again. Ubel to Soul? Very, to Ubel Soul, the man, the myth. Two very amazing casters stepping up to the plate. Now we've got winners' finals of Goober 707 versus Lime Cookie. Thank you so much, HO3K, for having us on commentary again. Ritual. It was a pleasure as always. It's been a pleasure. We're going to be stepping off here again. We've got any uh, any recommendations, anything, just hit our Twitter DMs, at Momo on the mic, at Ritual SSB. Yeah. We're going to be switching um, off here now. But what, before you go, you should tune in next week to Eon Revelation on ENS, Eon SSB. But even more so than that, you should tune in to an event in Philly the week afterwards. The week after. Honestly, yeah, we've got amazing sets. All, uh, Momo's mid-off. February 18th. Fortunately, we hit cap two weeks in, but there's uh, there's uh, spots going all the time. If you want a spot, but it's capped, you know, hit my DMs. I got you all three on the wait list. You know, we've got $650 pop bonus now. We've got Beast. We've got Syrup. We've got insane names pulling up. We've got 14 out of 15 of Philly PR coming to this event. You so please, if you're able to pull up, 
Start that GG slash middle. And if Come you're not charity. able, if you're not able to pull up, you should tune in because not only are you gonna have great casters like everyone you've seen in top eight here tonight on the mic, you also might see me casting in chainmail. It's gonna be a very good stu uh, event, but now obviously we're gonna be passing it off. Thank you so much, guys. We're gonna be having a, a quick little switch off here. Uh, don't go anywhere though. Don't maybe get a snack. We get some water. We're gonna have winner finals top four of Xeno Arcadian. We will be right back. Thank you all so much. Have a good one, y'all.